I created a GPT. Now you might be asking, what the heck is a GPT? Think of it as a function or an application where I could define within ChatGPT a certain set of functions that are gonna give me a particular output. Now I'm in sales and I have to do account planning. And for those of you out there, if you've ever done account planning on accounts that you're not familiar with, it takes a lot of work. Say you just received a number of new accounts. You want to understand the mission of the account. You want to understand the SWOT analysis, the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of that account. And you want to understand the business priorities and how your service or set of products can help them achieve the business outcomes that they're looking to achieve. And you want to be able to know are there any activities within that account in the news that relates to your product or service. The way you might approach that is to download the 10K and annual report and try to go through that and come up with all that information yourself. That takes time, that takes hours and hours of work. But I've created this GPT that saves me a ton of time in trying to do those things and it will save you a ton of time as well and I'll teach you how to use it. But first let me demonstrate to you how it works. So this GPT I named Business Intelligent Companion. And if I come in here, it's very simple. I could just enter the name of any company. In this case, I'm gonna say FedEx. And it's gonna give me all that information that I'm looking for to be able to start my account planning. So the first thing it's going to do, it's going to go out and search the internet for the annual report, the latest 10K, gives me the mission statement. It will do the SWOT analysis. So it gives me all the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of this customer. So I can use that to better position my product or service. And then what it's also going to give me is the top, and I asked it to give me the top three business priorities. The role that I'm playing here is that I'm selling AI to this company. So I want to understand the role that AI can play in helping it achieve its business priorities. So it's done that in this table, business priorities, application ideas. And if I apply these AI application ideas to these business priorities, what are the success metrics that it can impact? And so it gives me that in the table as well. And then any recent news that this company has with respect to AI, it gives me that in the last paragraph. So look how powerful this is, but it goes even further. If I then want to dig a little bit deeper, say for example, I'm saying, well, it's giving me some business priorities and some AI application ideas, but I really need a little bit more information than what's in that table. So I can simply type in, give me more details on app ideas. Now I don't even have to type in my spelling doesn't need to be right. It knows what I mean. And so look at what it's going to give me. So I hit the up arrow here. And so it's going to go and give me additional information. So I can use this to brainstorm with as I'm trying to come up with an approach to selling to my particular customer and making sure that my product is addressing, really addressing their needs. So to create your own GPT is pretty simple. What you want to do is you want to go to chat GPT, hit explore GPTs and simply hit the create button. Now I like to do it by actually just going to the text prompt because I can create my GPT just using natural language. Now in this case, I've already come up with my prompts. And so these are my prompts that I'm using to create this GPT. It's very simple, it's natural language. So I said, user will type in company name and the GPT will search the web for the company's annual report in 10K. So that was the first step. Then I say, based on these reports, provide the company's mission, create a SWOT analysis, put in table form those business priorities and how AI can help those business priorities and the success metrics associated with them, add any recent news from the web for this particular company to talking about AI initiatives. And that's it, no programming involved. So then I hit the up arrow, and what it will do, it will start to create that GPT. It first will suggest a name of the GPT for you, and it says, how about strategic insights analysis? I'll say, sure, that sounds great. Let's use that name. And so once I hit that up arrow again, it says, great. So it's generating a profile picture. So that's a little icon that it'll create. Uh, and so that's the icon it created. And if I wanted to change it, I could, but it looks good to me. And so now it's updating the GPT. Okay, so I think it's ready. I said, um, if I like any additional features, no, good to go. 
So now that I have that, I can hit the preview button. And so this previews what we just created. And so if I want to test it now, it's very easy to test. So I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to type in Nike. Let's do some sneakers and see if it pulls up the information on that. So it should pull up the 10K, the annual report. It's giving me um, a, the strategic analysis, the company mission. It's giving me the SWOT analysis. It's giving me the opportunities and threats along with the strengths and weaknesses. And then it's going to give me the top three AI business priorities along with how AI can help that and any recent news. So that's how simple it is to create a GPT using natural language. I'm going to link the GPT, this public GPT down in the link below. So if you want to try it out, try it out and let me know what you think. Hopefully this is helpful for anyone out there who has to do account planning. You know that getting started is the hardest part. So you can leverage ChatGPT to help get you started. So hopefully this video is useful. I'll see you on the next one.